Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to do some preventative maintenance and change the nozzle on our Creality Ender 5 or Ender 5 Pro 3D printer. My name is Alex, and this is Modified 3D. Now, before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date on all the newest, latest and greatest videos on modifying your 3D printer. Swapping out nozzles is an important thing to do every once in a while as a preventative maintenance measure to keep your 3D printer working in optimal precision printing. Over time, abrasives in the filament can wear down the nozzle, increasing the interior diameter of it, allowing a little bit more to ooze out than what it's supposed to. This can affect print quality and can lead problems down the road. I like to change my nozzle out about once a month, every other month at the most. I wouldn't go more than maybe 150 hours of printing without changing your nozzle, especially if it's a brass nozzle like this. Now these nozzles are super cheap. You can find them on TH3D Studio uh, is my go-to place for nozzles. They have them for the stock printer. They have them for the E3D V6. Pretty much any type of nozzle that you're looking for, TH3D supplies. So make sure to go check them out for the best deals. They also seem to be a really good quality. I use both their brass and their hardened steel nozzles with great results. So let's dive into how to change the nozzle on this Ender 5. All you're gonna need for this is a new nozzle and either a six millimeter wrench, six millimeter socket, or one of these torque wrenches from Slice Engineering. I'm gonna be using the torque wrench just so that we get the right size or the right torque. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is turn our printer on and we're gonna to wanna to preheat our nozzle. This is gonna make it easier to spin it off. Thanks to the 50 watt heater that I got installed in this, it shouldn't take too long to heat up. Once it gets up to temp, we'll pull all the filament out of there and turn the printer off. That way it's safe to go ahead and unscrew it. So I got the filament pulled back enough where we're not gonna to have to worry about anything in the filament path. What we can do now is go ahead, turn the printer off and we will lower the bed just to give us access to the nozzle. Go ahead and move the camera in closer and we'll go ahead and unscrew the stock nozzle. So what we can do is go ahead, turn our printer off. And we will very carefully remove our silicone sock that's covering the heater block and just set that to the side. Once we have that exposed, we can go ahead, take our torque wrench or socket, whatever you're using and carefully unscrew your nozzle. Now be very careful, this is going to be hot. So I just like to keep it in the torque wrench or in the socket and just set it to the side for a couple minutes. What we can do now is take the new nozzle and carefully thread it back up in place. Now our heater block is still gonna be nice and warm from uh, earlier, so it will heat that nozzle up quickly. Just be careful. I always like to start by hand and then use tools. Go ahead, take our slice torque wrench and twist it until we get a click. Just like that. And what we can do is go ahead, turn our printer back on preheat our nozzle to about 240 and torque it down one more time. And that's it. That's all there is to it. We can go ahead, put our silicone sock back on and that'll finish up the install for how to change out your nozzle only takes about two or three minutes to do. And like I said, about once a month is a good uh, frequency for doing this. Only cost a couple of dollars per nozzle. You can get a, I believe they sell a five pack for like 10 bucks on TH3D's website. I'll have a link 
down below in the description where you can get them. So they try to change your nozzle out on the Creality Ender 5 or Ender 5 Pro. My name is Alex and this is Modified 3D. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to see more videos on how to modify or maintain your 3D printer, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.